Hey, what's going on, everybody? In this video, we are going over the game recognized game. Part two of the set from series three is releasing on Thursday tomorrow. So make sure to get in on that drop. I think it's definitely going to be a positive pack value. And in this video, we are going to be going over some price predictions for every single moment, seeing if this challenge is going to be worth it, and then also looking into the what the wild card could possibly be for this challenge for the Clay Thompson. So let's get into all that in this video. And if you haven't been following the channel for a long time, you know, back when I first started making Top Shot videos, I was really into making spreadsheets and stuff. And I put together a spreadsheet for this video that I would send out to my email list. Unfortunately, something went wrong with my email list. So I haven't been sending out spreadsheets like this to my email list. So if you want this one, I'll post it in my Discord, which will be linked down below. And if it's not posted in there, or you can't find it, just DM me on Discord, and I'll make sure to send you this spreadsheet. So essentially what this is, is price predictions for these new moments in part two. So looking at part one over here, we have the Kevin Durant version of the game recognized game. So just looking at this, the price right now is down. So the cheapest one, Donovan Mitchell, just 20 bucks. Jokic, 23. Booker, 23. Edward, 27. Curry, 36. And Morant, 41. And the challenge reward, Kevin Durant, is 146. But before part two of Game Recognized Game was announced, the prices were up higher on every single moment. You can see the price before and the price after the announcement on column B. So I got these numbers from Evaluate Market. If you come and type in a set on Evaluate Market, you can get all the moments up here. And clicking on one like Anthony Edwards from the last set, you can see right now it's just 26 bucks. But if we come down and look at the graph on this one, you can see that back in the time of the challenge, it was up in the 90s. And before the announcement was in the 30s even got up to in the 40s before it dipped down to the low 20s which it is right now so these numbers aren't 100 percent accurate because there's a bunch of different sales every day but just generally where the bottom numbers peaked out is where i got these price numbers and you can see the price that these were in the challenge they were absolutely crazy valuable during the challenge the cheapest one was about 73 Again, these numbers aren't 100% accurate. I'm sure a lot of people got it for less than that or paid more than that, but this seems like about where they settled at the floor price when they were trying to buy them in challenges. So these ones were insane during challenges. If you look at all these prices of these moments, and then 15 was, I think, about what you paid for the wild card Kevin Durant, which was just any Kevin Durant moment. And at that point, the floor was $15, believe it or not, for that 60K moment. And if you scroll down on the spreadsheet, the thing about this one that we can see here is from part one of the set, which was the Kevin Durant game, recognized game, I've ranked what I think the prices will be when it's all said and done in the next couple of weeks here when the challenge for the Clay Thompson is over. I think the most valuable is going to be the Durant followed by the Clay challenge reward. Then we got Jaw from part one, Steph, Edwards, all these guys from part one. And then finally we have a part two, one of the commons that's not a challenge award is Paul George and then Donovan Mitchell. And then after that is the rest of the part two of the game recognized game. So I think that just the part one are a lot better players and more sought after on Top Shot than the part two. And if we come look at just part two here, we can get into some of my price predictions in the challenge and highlighted in blue just basically means so this is not financial advice so don't take these for for granted or take my word on price predictions it's just my thoughts on what they're going to come in at for the challenge and what they're going to be selling for after so right now the floor is twenty dollars for that donovan mitchell i think the floor after you're going to see Hayward, Cousins, and Rose all be less than that Donovan Mitchell with Draymond and Levine being about the same value as the Donovan Mitchell. And 
Price prediction during the challenge, definitely not going to be as high as the last challenge. It's just a $19 pack, and this set really lost a lot of value uh, since that time. So instead of uh, having like a 70 75 price floor for these moments in the challenges, I think it's going to be closer to 30 and this could even be a pretty high price prediction in all honesty, considering what we saw for the spice i forget what the set's called extra spice set i think where the floor was about mid 20s to 30 for some of them in the draw reward i think it was like 29 was really the floor right now for that for that challenge but those were just out of 6500 and these are going to be out of 10,000 but i think people put more weight into this set than the extra spice set in all honesty and we could see these for low 30s to mid 30s just my opinion, my price prediction on this. And again, if you want to check out the spreadsheet yourself, it'll be in the Discord, which is linked down below. And basically what I broke down here is you're going to need this plus, plus the wild card, which my best guess for the wild card is it's going to be any Clay Thompson moment, which is currently going for 6 bucks. I could see it bump up to 9 if that's the case, but probably won't go up that high uh, in all honesty and then after go to six. So the price that you're gonna have to pay for the challenge based on my predictions is $221, while the price after is going to be 232, with that reward being worth 115 is my best guess. So that does mean it's gonna be a positive challenge value if you believe these price predictions at all, or at all close. Um, on what you're going to be before and after the challenge and I kind of broke down here the complete challenge value so this is definitely based on what you hit in your challenge reward so if you hit a serial between a thousand and eight thousand I think the challenge reward is going to be worth 115 as the base which would give you an eleven dollar profit for completing the challenge after everything is is over the challenge is over and the moments go back down to what they're kind of going to settle at and 87.5 percent of people i think are going to get that i believe they're going to be about 8,000 completions versus the kd which was close to 7,000. i just think because it's going to be cheaper moments that you need that more people are going to complete this one and i think it'll come close to 8,000, maybe in the 7,000 range for how many people will complete this but then if you're going to pull a moment between 500 and 999, I'm gonna give you an added boost, boost of 50 bucks for that. So your challenge value is actually gonna be 61. And you have a 6.24% chance of hitting that serial, hitting a even lower triple digit between 100 and 500. It's gonna give a $75 boost and 5% chance of hitting that. And then one of the higher double digit serials between 50 and 99, it's gonna give a $100 boost to the moment. So you're looking at $111 in profit for completing this challenge. But these are getting really low, under 1% chance of hitting one of these. And then an even lower serial is gonna give you a bigger boost, something in the teens or 20s usually goes for more. And then obviously jersey number is gonna give a massive boost as well as a single digit or a number one serial. And to hit a serial below a thousand, estimated it's going to be about 12% chance to hit that, which would pretty much guarantee a positive challenge on this one. Okay, so if you guys are interested in this, remember to just look in the Discord. Honestly, I might even be able to just post the link down here to it in the description. So look out for that, and you can get access to this. I'm going to start doing these more. I think they're fun. It took me, I don't know, like 20, 25 minutes to whip this up and make some predictions so i'm going to be putting out these for nba and nfl all day so if you're interested i'll be linking them somewhere in the description of the video now coming back to this clay thompson moment i believe that this is the best option for the wild card as the kevin durant game recognized game challenge just needed any kevin durant moment and this one i expect just to need any clay thompson moment that makes the most sense as the wild card Right now it's six bucks. There's one actually listed for five now, but then only like eight or something listed for six. So it's definitely gonna go to at least seven 
um, if this is the case. And but then there's a lot of seven, so I could see it going to maybe eight or nine bucks. Another thing they could do, actually coming back to the spreadsheet real quick, just since these people lost so much money doing this challenge because of the price of these moments was so high, five hundred and eighty one dollars is about what people spent on this, and now the price is down to three sixteen. <laughs> Uh, I think they could give people more value just for holding on to these moments. And you might see the wild card just be any current game recognized game moment, which would be any of these. I think that would be cool to reward people that did these challenges for the Kevin Durant and kind of lost a good amount of money, honestly. So I believe they could do that. If we actually come pull up the set on the marketplace, the Clay Thompson reward is a three-pointer. So so looking at these, I actually scooped up a Donovan Mitchell because it price did drop and it's a three-pointer. I don't know. It could could be that. And it's really only Mitchell and Jokic, I think, are threes. So if they really want to give value to the current set holders, besides just giving them one free pack, which they did, they could use any of these as a wild card or the three pointer since clays is also going to be a three pointer. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this one. If you did definitely consider subscribing and liking the video helps out a lot. Comment down below what you think about all this. If you're interested in the spreadsheet, I'll try to link it down below or it'll be in the discord as well. So join up in that and I'll catch you guys in another video.